In a surprising turn of events that sent shockwaves through the automotive industry, Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom recently made headlines by announcing that the company would be scaling back its efforts in the electric vehicle market. Bloom, who has been at the helm of the iconic German automaker since 2015, cited six significant reasons for this bold decision, which has left many car enthusiasts and industry experts both intrigued and puzzled. First reason is battery technology limitations. One of the foremost challenges that Porsche has encountered in its pursuit of electric mobility is the limitation of current battery technology. Bloom highlighted the fact that while electric cars have made significant strides in terms of range and performance, there remains a fundamental issue with energy density. Lithium ion batteries, which are the standard in the industry, still fall short in terms of energy storage compared to fossil fuels. This limitation is not unique to Porsche, but affects all major automakers in the EV space. It has forced them to invest heavily in research and development to enhance battery technology. Bloom expressed concerns that relying on batteries alone would be insufficient to meet Porsche's high performance standards and customer expectations. In this regard, Porsche faces stiff competition from established EV manufacturers like Tesla and newer entrants like Lucid Motors, which have been pushing the boundaries of battery technology. Second reason is charging infrastructure challenges. While electric vehicles have become more popular, the charging infrastructure necessary to support a mass transition to EVs still lags behind. Bloom pointed out that this issue is not only a Porsche problem, but an industry-wide concern. The availability of fast charging stations, particularly in less densely populated areas, remains a significant hurdle for potential EV buyers. Porsche's high-performance EV, the Taycan, boasts impressive acceleration and range, but is hamstrung by the lack of a comprehensive and fast charging network similar to Tesla's supercharger network. Other automakers, such as Ford and General Motors, have recognized the importance of charging infrastructure and are investing heavily in building out networks to support their EV ambitions. Third reason is supply chain disruptions. The global pandemic exposed vulnerabilities in supply chains across industries, and the automotive sector was no exception. Bloom acknowledged that the disruptions caused by the pandemic had a profound impact on Porsche's ability to secure critical components for its electric vehicles. This issue has plagued not only Porsche, but also many other automakers, leading to production delays and increased costs. Companies like Volkswagen, which owns Porsche, have been working on strategies to secure a more reliable supply chain for EV components, including batteries and semiconductors. Still, the unpredictability of global events like the pandemic has made it challenging to maintain a smooth production process. Fourth reason is competition from established players. Porsche's entrance into the EV market has coincided with the rapid expansion of electric vehicle offerings from established automakers. Bloom noted that competition in the EV space has become increasingly fierce, with legacy automakers like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi aggressively pushing their electric models. The EV market has witnessed the rise of formidable competitors such as Tesla, which has consistently set new standards for electric vehicles in terms of range, performance, and software capabilities. Tesla's Model S Plaid, for instance, boasts a jaw-dropping 0 to 60 miles per hour time of under 2 seconds, leaving Porsche's electric offerings with stiff competition. Fifth reason for consumer demand, uncertainty. Another factor contributing to Porsche's decision to scale back its EV efforts is the uncertainty surrounding consumer demand. While electric vehicles are gaining popularity, the majority of consumers still opt for traditional internal combustion engine vehicles. Bloom emphasized that Porsche's core customer base has a deep appreciation for the brand's history and the visceral experience provided by their high-performance sports cars. Porsche's iconic 911, with its flat-six engine, has been the embodiment of the brand's ethos for decades. The company is well aware that transitioning too quickly to electric-only models might alienate its loyal customers. Striking the right balance between electrification and maintaining the spirit of Porsche's heritage is a delicate challenge that the company must navigate. Sixth reason is environmental concerns and sustainability. Despite the industry's push toward electrification as a means to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, Bloom argued that the sustainability of EVs is not as clear-cut as it may seem. 
Electric vehicle manufacturing involves the extraction of rare earth metals and minerals, which can have detrimental environmental impacts. Additionally, the production of lithium-ion batteries is energy intensive and can lead to substantial carbon emissions. Porsche, like other automakers, is under pressure to address these environmental concerns and make sustainable choices throughout its entire supply chain. Achieving genuine sustainability in the electric vehicle sector is a complex endeavor that goes beyond just producing zero emission vehicles. It involves addressing the full life cycle environmental impact of EVs, from raw material extraction to recycling. Oliver Bloom's decision to scale back Porsche's electric vehicle efforts is a testament to the complex challenges facing the automotive industry as it navigates the transition to electric mobility. While Porsche remains committed to electrification and has not completely abandoned its EV ambitions, Bloom's candid assessment of the hurdles highlights the need for a pragmatic approach in an industry undergoing a profound transformation. It's important to note that Porsche's experience is not unique and other automakers have faced similar challenges and made strategic decisions based on their assessment of the market. For instance, Ford has recently announced a shift in its electric vehicle strategy, focusing more on electric SUVs and trucks due to strong consumer demand in these segments. Furthermore, luxury car makers like Mercedes-Benz and BMW are also grappling with the transition to electric vehicles. Mercedes-Benz, under its EQ subbrand, has introduced several electric models, while BMW has expanded its electric lineup, including the BMW 1 4 and BMW 1 3. These companies are striving to maintain their brand prestige while catering to a changing market landscape. In contrast, Tesla, led by CEO Elon Musk, has maintained a singular focus on electric vehicles since its inception. This unwavering dedication has allowed Tesla to develop a strong brand identity and a loyal customer base. The company's electric cars, such as the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y, have disrupted the automotive industry and set the standard for electric vehicle performance, range, and innovation. The electric vehicle market is evolving rapidly, with various approaches and strategies employed by automakers to address the challenges and opportunities it presents. For instance, General Motors has announced its intention to transition to an all-electric lineup by 2035 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2040. This ambitious plan includes the development of new electric vehicles across its brands, including Chevrolet, GMC, and Cadillac. Similarly, Volkswagen Group, which owns Porsche, is making substantial investments in electric mobility through its Volkswagen, Audi, and Porsche brands. While Porsche's recent decision to scale back its EV efforts is noteworthy, it should be viewed within the broader context of Volkswagen Group's commitment to electric mobility. In conclusion, Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom's announcement to scale back the company's electric vehicle efforts highlights the multifaceted challenges faced by automakers in the transition to electric mobility. These challenges range from battery technology limitations and supply chain disruptions to competition from established players and uncertainty about consumer demand. Additionally, the environmental impact of electric vehicle production and the need for sustainability remain critical considerations for the industry. While Porsche's decision may come as a surprise to some, it underscores the need for automakers to carefully evaluate their strategies in a rapidly changing landscape. The shift to electric vehicles is inevitable, but the path to achieving success in this new era of mobility is far from straightforward. As the automotive industry continues to evolve, it will be fascinating to see how automakers adapt, innovate, and meet the demands of both consumers and the environment. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.